What's up guys and welcome back to the Endless Voyage. Right now Ying and I are in Phuket and we actually just stayed at this unique hotel last night. It's full of tents. Actually it doesn't have normal hotel rooms but it's just tents outside like this. Ying, what did you think of it last night? <laughs> well, to be honest, I couldn't sleep well here just because of the bay and the sheet. Is that what we call sheet wear? Should I say like that? Okay, so let's, let's get a few things out front. So when we got here, uh, we were sitting inside and I heard something and I didn't, oh. know, I didn't know what it was. And then all of a sudden I looked over and there was a huge frog oh. right under the bed, like looking at us. And so the guy from the front came in and he literally just picked it up and brought it out. Um, so that was, that was the first thing when we first got here. Also, um, it's kind of hard to like get the right temperature because you are outside. So it's too hot and our room has an air conditioner. So we turn that on and then it's too cold. And so it is a bit of a struggle. It's definitely not the same as staying in, in a hotel room. I think my expectation was a little off. Let me give you a quick look at the room. I would call it a room tour, but it's going to be really short. So. This place can definitely be fun for a night, so if you want to check it out, I will put the info in the description below. Where are we going? We are riding to Surin Beach. It's up to the northwest. <laughs> <laughs> down to Surin Beach. We picked this beach because I think it's a little more quiet than some of the other ones, but it's also very beautiful and it's on the west side of the island, so we thought the sunset would be nice. And I don't know, I think we were right. Now we're gonna take some photos. Gotta get it for the gram. And then we'll see what else we feel like doing. Hello. <laughs> And the sunset is so beautiful, it just turned around. So we were here for about an hour and a half. We just got the sunset here. It's really nice. There are, there are more people than I expected. I thought this beach would be much more quiet considering all the things going on with COVID. I mean, there aren't many people for sure. And I'm sure it's way more packed during normal times. But yeah, I, I kind of expected it to be empty and it wasn't, um, which is fine. It's still quiet, it's nice. We drove up from the south side of the island today and now we're heading back to the south because tomorrow morning we're gonna go and get a boat and it's gonna leave from the southern part of the island. So we just wanna be close to where that is because we're leaving early. Do you know how to pump gas? If you had to do this, do you know how to do it? No. All of the uh, gas stations here have the attendants that pump the gas for you. So I don't think any Thai people know how to pump gas for themselves. I'm gonna say. <laughs> I just said 
I think this gas station is expensive. Ying says, I think maybe the oil is better. Right now we are at a mini Big C. If you don't know, Big C is like a huge um, retail store. It's like a Walmart, I guess I would compare it to. But it's really popular in Thailand and they have a mini Big C, which is basically a 7-Eleven. Right now we are on the southeast side of the island. It feels like a much more local area. Everything is in Thai, nothing is in English, not even the menus at the restaurants. And uh, things are a lot less expensive. Like food for two of us for dinner was only about 120 baht I think so 60 baht a person that's like two dollars a person basically less than two dollars per person so that's it for us for tonight we're gonna keep it short tonight we're going to bed early so we can wake up early and do this long day tomorrow if you guys want to see more videos about Phuket make sure you hit the subscribe button thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next video